my first question for you was this. Now, it's been such a beautiful award season, you know, with wins from Divine Joy Randolph to Angela Bassett receiving her honorary award, which is long overdue. Now, to see black people in the space receiving our flowers, even if it is long overdue, how does this inspire you or impact you in any sort of way? Well, it's a great gift to be African American in this world. You have a moral responsibility to hang in there, to keep going, yeah. to not stop in spite of the obstacles. And people like Divine, who I've known for years, and Angela Bassett, who I've watched from afar. Yeah. Um, so many people remind me that the journey may be long, but uh, there are rewards you know, along the way. And um, in my own life, I know that um, you have a few mountaintop moments in a career, but it's really about the journey up. Yeah. So I stay focused on that. Tonight um, at the Critics' Choice Awards, it's a mountaintop moment. I'm so excited to be nominated, but yeah. I'm, I'm even more excited to be here with most of the show and nominated in the category with Nicole Bahari, who's yeah. had her first season on season three. And it's so good. I mean, so money, power, thing. respect, okay? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> and that episode was written by an African-American writer, and so, you know, we're in an interesting time. I think we're in a transition yep. space for African-Americans and people of color in general. In the industry, I'm so impressed by Lily Gladstone, yeah. her poise, her confidence. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot to be optimistic about, and <laughs> anytime I feel a little bit low, I just turn around and, and see something on the social media that inspires me. So. Well, you're inspiring us to Mia Jordan, who is such a complex character. She's such a powerhouse. And honestly, she inspires me every day as well to be a phenomenal producer that I am too. Yeah. Now, you know, are there any layers from Mia that you want to incorporate into your own life and vice versa? Well, you know, one thing that I appreciate about Mia, Mia is that she's dedicated, Very much without so. committed, um, and she stands on the principle that she's going to show up. And you know, I'm an actor, so I can be flaky. We all can be. I'm a reporter. Sometimes we can be a little flaky. flaky. It's natural. It happens. So for me, I'm taking the. You know, if you say you're going to do it, do it. Yeah. Now, Take while. Exactly. Now, while we have to wait for and just like that for another year, fans are falling in love with Dr. Nia Wallace, but have also voiced that they want to see her develop a little bit more in the new season. Now, you know, is there hopeful chatter of your character expanding her presence in the next season, and how would you like to see that happen? I don't know what's going to happen with Dr. Nia Wallace okay. in season three. I am not in charge of those decisions. But if it were up to me, I think you would see her more in the classroom. You'd see her with her students. Okay. Um, you'd see her with a new love interest. Ooh. <laughs> that maybe you saw in episode two. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe we see Andre Rashad come back and eat a little crow. I mean, I, I these are my ideas. I don't know if they're going to happen. But, you know, we're going to lean in deeper that. Yes. Okay. Final question is this. Who are you most excited to see receive their flowers this award season? Well, Divine, of course. Um, I thought Lily Gladstone was amazing. I thought Carrie Mulligan was extraordinary. Um, I mean, I love Court Jefferson's movie, American Fiction. Um, and just so many people. So many people. It's, a, it's an inspiring time. Okay. And if you were to get any of her critiques from any actor in Hollywood, right, who would you call on? Like, if you were acting, you're like showcasing your work, you wanted a really good opinion from any actor in Hollywood, who would it be? We don't do opinions. Mm, okay. I love that. Everybody's in their process. Yeah. Everybody's on their own journey. I mean, if I solicit your opinion, then great, but I don't typically solicit opinion. I, I, I'm, I try to stay focused on what I think I should be doing. And I think a lot of times we give that power away, right? Tell me, am I okay? Wait, do I think I'm okay? Yes, exactly. Okay. Actually, I think I'm okay in this part of my process, and it's not perfect, and probably I'm failing, but it's okay. I'm going to do better next time. That's how I feel about that. right now. Thank you so much.